hello it's mark from hero tech systems and you're welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome in this video we're going to look at how to configure voice vlan in cisco packet tracer this is lesson 11 of the cisco packet tracer tutorial for beginners so let's go into our cisco packet tracer interface and do the configuration now before we do that please uh subscribe to the channel like the video and click the notification bell so that whenever we upload new content you'll be notified and we do that almost every day so for this topology i have uh picked a 2811 uh, router uh, because this is the only router that supports voip telephony service in cisco packet tracer i've also picked the 2960 switch two ip phones and two laptops so i'm going to connect these devices together using my cables so the first cable i'm using is the straight through cable uh, i'm going to connect my ip phone to my switch i'm connecting it with the switch port because in connection to the uh, switch the ip phone acts as a switch itself so i'm going to connect to spot one and i'll connect this one also to port two and then I connect my laptop to my my IP phone. I connect to the LAN port of or the PC port of the IP phone, and then I can connect my router to my switch. So I connect on port 24. Now the IP phones are amber. What I need to do is turn them on. They are turned off. So I what I need to do now is drag, hold down this power cable and fix it into the piece, the power port of the of the phone. Do the same thing here for the phones to come up. Just hold and drag and fix it in. So now the phones are up. The next thing I need to do is to configure VLANs on the switch. So I'm going to be configuring two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. One will be for data VLAN and then one will be for the voice VLAN. So so VLAN ten and VLAN twenty. So my two IP phones are connected to port one and port two on the switch. So I'm going to configure those ports uh, for both VLANs. So so we are signing this VLANs to this port 1 and 2 on the switch. So interface range F0 slash 1 to 2. And then switch port access VLAN 10. Switch port voice. VLAN 20. So I have an exclusive video on how to configure uh, VLANs in Cisco Packet Tracer. The link to that video is in the description below. So having done that, what I need to do now is we need to go into the router and configure inter VLAN routing. So Remember when you're configuring inter VLAN routing, the physical uh, interface is uh, doesn't have an IP address. So I turned, I just turned it up, and then no IP address. So I need to configure the sub interfaces. Uh, I have an exclusive video as well on how to configure inter VLAN routing in Cisco Packet Tracer. The link to that video you will find in the description below. So, interface, I'm going to configure the sub interfaces. Dot zero dot ten. Ten is my first um, VLAN, so encapsulation dot one Q ten. So, I'm going to give it an IP address and I'm going to use the default, um, the default 
plus a IP address by five So I'll do the same thing for I'll do the same thing here. I'll just change this one to twenty and then tie it to VLAN twenty with this encapsulation the one q twenty command and give it an IP address. So that's that's on this configuration. Now the next thing we need to do on the router is to configure our GCP. But before we configure our GCP, let's first configure. Uh, let's first do DHCP exclusion. So we're going to exclude a range of IP addresses, IP, JCP, exclude address, so I'm going to exclude 10.0.0.1, 10.0.0.1, .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 the 10. So to uh, co learn how to com how to configure JCP, JCP uh, exclusion, there is um, a, a video which I created, a tutorial, one of the tutorials which I created as exclusively uh, on how to configure GACP. The link to that video also is in the description. So um, I'm going to exclude for the 20. Good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to configure the pool. So IP GACP pool mm, LAN. So for the for this is for the data pool. Um, I'm going to give it the network of 10.0.0.0.0.255.0.0.0.0 uh, Default router is 10.0.0.1 uh, DNS server as the 8.8.8.8 Optionally you can configure options So I'm going to configure option for TFTP server So I'll say option 150 uh, IP 10.0.0.1 So I'll configure a second pool which will be for the VoIP. So I'm going to give it a network of 20. Remember, we use 20 and then give it its own default router or default gateway 20 and DNS server and then I'll give it this for the option I'll do this so the next thing we need to do is to trunk the link between the router and the switch because I have two VLANs on the switch and I need the trunk link to carry information for both VLANs so I go to my switch And go to interface f0 slash 24 because my router connects to the switch on port 24 so um, I'm going to switch ports change the mode to trunk so I've made it a trunk link so that's that now the next thing I need to do is to configure uh, telephony service telephony service on the router so I'm going to come here and say telephone service. Now what we need to do next is to configure, um, we need to configure the directory, the, the, the number of directories and the number of phones that will be used uh, in this uh, topology. So we're going to just use this. Okay, the question mark help key. So maximum directory number. So I'm going to say five, or let me just say okay five. Set it at five, and then the max e phones. 
uh, put it at 5 as well and then IP source address so my source address I'm gonna give it um, 20 now VoIP is 20 okay so 20 dot um, dot zero dot zero dot one and then ports uh, let's see so specify a port between 2000 to 1999 so I'm going to say 2000 good now haven't done that now I'm going to check if my devices are getting IP address my phones okay yes they have received an IP address both of them have received IP address from the 20.0.0 uh, network so I'm going to go back and continue with the configuration so now I'm going to configure the directory numbers. So to configure the directory numbers, I just go back. So let me check. Let me use this key. Okay. So I had forgotten the command. Well, I can see from here that it is um, to so configure e-phone lines, directory numbers, and then to configure your phone to define your Ethernet phone. So the command I need is e-phone dn so to configure your directory number. So e-phone dn. So it says incomplete command. So let's see. So remember that we configured five directory numbers. So you have to specify the number. So for directory number one, the number is, so the directory number now is, I'm going to use 1000. For iPhone DN2, I will use 1001. iPhone directory number three. I will tie it to 1002. If on directory number 4, I'm going to tie it to 1003. And then if on directory number 5, I'll tie it to 1004. So, having done that, the next thing I need to do is to configure the e phones themselves. So, e phone. complete command so let's see so I have five e phones as well so you know what we need to do is to tie the e phones to these directory numbers that we've connected so if on one I want to tie it to directory number one so um, let's use the question mark so I'm using the button so button one, I'll tie it to directory number one. So let's see if it's going to register. Good, it has registered. Um, the same thing I do for the second phone. If on two, 
I use the button one and then type to directory number two. Good. So both phones have registered. So if I come back here, good. I can see the line number one thousand and one for this phone, and then same thing here the line number 1000 so I can open my phone I can see good I can see the direct the directory number which is getting 1000 so if I want to place a call all I need to do is dial the directory number for the other phone 1001 It is ringing. So I'm going to go to the other phone, which I'm calling. So I can say call from 1000. I call from 1000. So I'll just click on this, and I've picked the call, and it's connected. So that is how to configure voice uh, VLAN and. Uh, VoIP, uh, uh, VoIP in Cisco Packet Tracer. So for further videos, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and click the notification bell for uh, so that when we upload new content, you will be notified. So thank you.